mental note isn't good enough. Details matter. Yes, got it. I will try to do better. This place is massive. Surely there is a pack of cigarettes in here somewhere. Even if they're ancient. You need them that bad? There was a bar off the lobby. There must be cigarettes in the bar, right? I mean, technically, it's not legal to smoke in bars, so... Come on, we're checking. If you find them first, all will be forgiven. All right. <clears throat> Back with more of this. Find the bar, this is what we need to do. It's my spare cap. Exactly the same? Well, it suits me. What's weird about that? T.S. Hartley, the Yellow Cross. Got a novel. Cool. Story, bro. The scope of this place is... I can't believe we've lucked into this. Are you worried it will make our other episodes She's look cheap? That way. I'm gonna go they this are way. cheap. Can't be helped. This will be the one that people remember. The one that wins an Emmy? Exactly. That's the spirit. Stick with me, Erin. I'm going places. Break down the walls of Jericho. <laughs> Let me worry about that. You stick to making sure that my life runs smoothly and I'll make sure you keep working. Sound good? These will be locked. Let's go where you can run. To met architecture. Is that it? What's down here? Another one of those ovals. You've got to be worth something. Charlie, I was hoping next season maybe I could do more with the sound design, more creative stuff. Erin, what you already do for this company is very valuable to us. Carrying what? your bags and picking up your laundry? I don't. Absolutely. To get ahead in this industry, you have to pay your dues. I don't get so that ready much. To muck in. What does that mean? I... I think you should get an assistant. An assistant? Oh, it was just a stupid idea, Charlie. I'm the just... System. Is that how many a guests there has been, or people? Sort of. I don't know. And then I could help out with the editing. Pardon me? The editing? The audio. She's mix. not there. Look, I just think you've got so much to give, so much experience. And it's an opportunity to pass that knowledge on. Right. Yes, the... I suppose it is. And then the system wouldn't lose my cigarettes, would they? Exactly. So, do you still want to direct movies, Charlie? I am directing. No, 
No, but I mean real movies. With a big budget and big That's stars. That's eerie as... Erin, there's something important that you had to understand. The In dice. the work that we do, the very important work, the truth is the star. Oh, right. This is all... Yeah, sorry, Charlie. Oh. So you don't want to direct movies. Can we move... Uh... Lightest? Hang on, is Marie's name in here? Oh. Marie's... Because she put her name down at the beginning. But there's no... The guy... What was the guy's name now? Holy crap, I cannot remember the dude's name. You can't, yeah, it looks like you can't um, go to the page and let me. What is she doing just standing up? I suppose I should be thankful it's just my cigarettes that's not my thing and not our gear. Hey, maybe Mr. Dumet is in the back office. You could just ask him about cigarettes. If we had a smoke in here, we go outside. That was a mannequin head. Uh, what the fuck? Jackpot. Please. Eric, I found the key. Needed two. Why don't I go check for a gift shop or something? I've already had one asthma attack today, and this dust farm is exactly what I don't need. A gift shop might have cigarettes. Exactly. Had a girl. Ah. Where is she? She's just teleported. Lucky I have my light on. Hello, Mr. Dumet. Hello. Good morning to you all. I'm Chester Bell. Assistant Director at the Federal Bureau of Investigation. At approximately 0530 local time, a team led by Special Agent Hector Monday and supported by law enforcement officers conducted a raid of a motel room just outside Birmingham, Alabama to apprehend Manny Sherman, the man known as the Beast of Arkansas. Using state-of-the-art psychological profiling techniques, Special Agent Monday and members of his task force not only identified their suspect, 
but predicted his movement with unerring accuracy. I'm delighted to say we have our man. Jesus. Put his hand in like a vending machine and has gone up in flames. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Wow. An animatronic. Sir. <laughs> I'll have a packet of cigarettes, please. A packet of cigarettes, please. Hello? Hello? A packet of smokes. I figured it was too good to be true. Never mind. Thank you, Robo Bowman. Certainly, sir. Whatever you wish. <laughs> no fucking way. No. That. Thank you very much, my mechanical friend. Much appreciated. That's gonna kill him. Now hang on. What's it say? What's that tag? Yes! Yes! Oh, of course it was exact change. Search the bar for money. Yep. Swap that. <coughs> Fuck. Next round's on me. Promise. I... I know about this. Easier than that in my jacket pocket. Hang on, he's... What? No, come on, you piece. 
piece of shit. Don't do this to me. <coughs> Antique rubbish. Give them to me. Give me my cigarettes. Right, you. That's it. I'm going to go and get my key grip. And they are going to kick the shit out of you. Hey, Charlie. Yeah. I'm still in the bar. I think it's dinner time. We should get everyone else. Okay, I'm coming. And I'm coming back for you with a fucking pry bar. Are you alone in there? Who's that behind the bar? What? I thought he was going to go up in flames. That's why I paused the game. Yeah. Hey. Because of that, um, where it tells you, it showed you to aim like a cross hair appeared. But I didn't, yeah, do it right. Not on an intro think. segment. You want to shoot now? Yeah. If we get it shot and in the bank, maybe Charlie will stop rewriting everything I come up with. Yeah. Okay, sure. You know where the hell the aim Nothing. at? Just give me a sec, and I'll be good to go. No. I'm supposed to buy nothing is eating away at you? Yes. How many times have you cleaned that lens? I'm just prepping my gear. Really? Yeah. Always focusing on the detail, Mark. What about taking a huge risk and just do something? I watched you fuss for a whole week before you turned down that job offer, all because you had to take one extra train to get there. It wasn't the right move, or joking the job. The job wasn't the right move. The train thing confirmed it. Flimsy. I don't buy it. You don't have to buy it. Come on, let's just shoot this. Let's use natural light so we can do it alone. Didn't the lobby have starlight? I don't remember. I just want to look decent. You look good in any light. Jamie can set up lights. You look good in any light. I'm not worried. Are you trying to butter me up? Yes. Is it working? Marginally. <laughs> I'll take it. Mark, why are you letting me think I broke up with you? I feel like if Jamie knew the truth, she might back off. I mean, they all just assumed. <laughs> I can't decide if that's sweet or selfish, or both. Sorry. We're hitting the golden hour. We should be able to find a good spot. <laughs> I don't know why you camera dorks call it that. It's 15 minutes at best. Yes and no, if you have the right reflector. 15 minutes at the most. <laughs> Look, let's go find some light and Jeez. get started. Thanks for doing this. You're only asking me because your arms are too short for a good selfie angle. My arms are not short. <laughs> I zoom down. Where to? Uh, the balcony would make for a cool angle. Let's find a way up there. Tea and biscuits. How's the new place? It'll do for now. Camera you like it? Photo opportunities. It's just a place to keep my shit in crash. Short term lease, so I can take my time to find something I really like. That's what? Mm, smart plan. You said I needed to be out, so I got out. I was complimenting you. No, just saying. How about this? I was worried you'd be sleeping on the couch in the studio while you yeah, obsessed I'll... over finding the perfect place with the right wall color near the proper train station or bus stop or... Maybe we should just add this topic to our discussion of fly zone list. Yeah, you're probably right. So, since we can't do it tomorrow, is next weekend okay to come and get my stuff? There, Bucko. I was just checking for light. Remember our talk about boundaries? I need my room to be my private, safe place. 
Sometimes I'm glad we went to therapy. Other times, it makes for some weird ass rules. Fuck. God. There's something back here. So if the rent catches us, fuck. Shit. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of me. Yeah, I feel like Dumet is the kind of dude who loses his shit if you break his rules. Oh, what was your first clue when he took away our phones like we were kind of teenagers? is over here something else oh. this takes me back I used to carve the hell out of my desk in middle school rebel Mr. and Mrs. Robert Hall, Silver Spring. Could you move? Move. Hey, I'm stuck. I can't move. I'm stuck. Hello. I cannot move. I am bloody... Be the room There's there. gotta be a way through. With a key. I've got a key, don't I? I've got no keys. Nothing. We need a key for that. I have no idea where this key is.
Look at this wallpaper. Annie Sherman, born January 1, 1956. Come on. You know all this. What do you want? What's this? Can't see. Doing your research. Have it just special agent Monday. What are my favorite television programs? Describe my first pet. What were your friends like as a child? What is this? Taking a survey, you try to learn something. Would it kill you to be direct? You wanted to know what inspired me? As if I wasn't an original? Well, maybe there was one man I found myself a little fascinated by. Henry Howard Holmes. Why? Because he was numero uno. America's first. The guy invented the trade. He set the benchmark, you know? Learn your history, Monday. Read a book. You think because I stuck a blade in some people and get off on it, I'm not smart? I, uh... Allegedly, killed 13 people before you got smart enough to find me. That's bloody... That's... This is old... There. See that key? Just need to find a way through. What was she saying? Looks what like Dumet you... is trying to preserve things. Can't be easy all the way out here. I like antiques as much as the next person, but at some point you have to give up the ghost. Rod is going to set in. Rod? That's it. What? Well, since we got here, I've been smelling something faint, distant. Can't place it. It's decay. Come on. Old house. Island beaches with dead fish. Animals in the wood. Could be anything. Whatever it is, it's dead as hell. Knock this down. So every single lock, doors locked. Jump across. I'm guessing that might work. Jump up onto it and then over.
fuck. Actually, I could have just wheeled that over there. Hang on, I'm fucking lost. I have to get that over there. If I wheeled that over to here, I wouldn't have been able to get across yeah, to here, because there would have been nothing to jump to, that's right. Fucking Jesus. So I have to use that twice. I'm gonna jump down here. And there's a ladder there. of heights but he's going for it. Marcus. Got it. Balcony. Got My vertigo is saying otherwise. Uh, thought we were in a hurry. Don't worry, you look fine. What are you worried about, Miss? Always be camera ready. You look amazing as usual. Check this out. That belongs this to is Henry hat. Howard Holmes. H.H. H. Holmes. Hey, Charlie, it's eight. 
Dinner time. Damn it. We didn't get anything. There's still time. Come on. Let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. Hey, be yeah. civil with Charlie. He's the one who chose to be uncivil blowing up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong, but you know he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. Almost thought we were tired of watching you flight. Uh, it, this one? I know Charlie can be a pain in the ass. Did you see his notes? Yeah, I saw them. Practical. I can't say half the shit he writes. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. Shit. I'm trying to help. I don't really want them to. to face. Because you getting it. Because he get, thinks you're just trying to get started. content for your showreel. What if I was? Owns us. That's how directors have to be. He seems to think he owns us. Bitter? Maybe? Charlie does seem to think he owns us. He's so damn controlling. I don't let him control me. Why else do you think we fight so much? Did you know Aaron hasn't been paid in weeks? He told her that learning from him was its own reward. Oh. That piece of shit. He has her running around town, picking up his laundry, doing his shopping like he can't do anything for himself. Doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lana at Entertainment. All right, well, we got. Thought you'd move on together. Yeah, well, it's supportive. Good for you. That's... Supportive. That's definitely the right call for where your career is going. That... Right. ...sounded very okay. sincere. Because it is. Charlie would replace us in a that second would if he up. wouldn't that be would... inconveniencing yeah, himself. Right. He's using us. I deserve better than this. So supportive. do you. We all do. What a stunning performance. You should give up news and be an actress. I was quite moved by all that. Fucking Oscar worthy. You don't know what we were talking about. I heard enough, thank you. I know what betrayal sounds like. I'm particularly disappointed in you, Mark. Yes. Whatever your future plans may be, right now, you work for Lonit Entertainment. And Lonit Entertainment employees are meeting for dinner to speak with our host. Charlie, I'm sorry. And Lonit employees are professionals, yes? So start acting like it. Kathy, you have a future, and now I don't. That man is a goddamn child, and somehow we all sink to his level. Hey guys. Play a game, or would you rather? Think it's okay if we pour some wine? God, please do. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Shouldn't we wait for him? Just pour Mark. It's all just relaxed or concerned. Reassuring. Let's all just relax. We just sat down, give the man a moment. He's the host. I haven't seen a soul here aside from the groundskeeper. He's probably cooking dinner himself. Ah, oh, Mr. Dumet! I love what you've done with your hair. We started on the wine. Hope that's all right, Dumet? Yeah, back to it ain't coming. Wait, what? Why? He saw all the snipe things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? When? Right after we got to our rooms. He just left. You're sure? Can't be. You must be mistaken. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Why would he leave? That makes no sense. They're in a big ass hurry. Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together when I was looking for my room. 
another perfect Charles Lonnet plan comes together. What's our next step, boss? Swim for shore? Why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just leave? I'm sure he has his reasons. Who knows what could have cropped up? Maybe he ordered pizza for dinner and the dock is as far as they deliver. This could work to our advantage. How? Well, think about it. We're still here, surrounded by perfect visuals. The plan is still on track. There has to be a legit reason for that. Don't just choose to be angry all the time. Go with the Guys, angry am I the only one who's getting really freaked out by this place? And by Mr. Dumet? As much as it pains me from the depths of my soul to say it, I'm sorry I didn't decide with Jamie on this one. Thank you. Lower your voices. Why? He's not here. But that doesn't explain why he stitched out on us. He had to go back to establish an alibi. What are you? You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Oh, oh God, Jamie. Jamie. Can you stop trying to make this worse? We're not helping. Okay, fine. Just don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? Just saying. Guess you never found your cigarettes. Okay, the pack of the invisible cigarettes. The machine was broken. Resentful. The bitch of it is, I did find a machine, but just like everything else in this fucking place, it's ancient and broken. So what are we doing? We just gonna sit here and pretend to eat? What's the plan, Charlie? The plan? In true Lana Entertainment fashion, we're going to sit with our thumbs in our asses until a panic deadline looms over us, and then we'll just throw some shit together and I'll save it with a voiceover. Well, here's to Topeka, no longer being the worst decision Charlie has ever made. Enthusiastic. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Now, I would like to toast all of you. Really. I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and Jamie, the two of you do the work of a team of ten. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart. They're all rising. You keep people interested. Um, and Erin, we lost my no appreciative. And finally, to our newest recruit, Erin, we would be lost without you. Who else could we trust to remember every little detail? Thank you all for your hard work. Cheers. Cheers. To us. Mazel tov. What we can get here can take the show to the next level. Sure, if we have time to get it all. Yeah, he totally heard us. Nah. There's no way he'd say all that nice shit if he heard us. Maybe we shouldn't talk about it right this second. You brought it up. <sighs> what was that, Kate? Nothing important, just spitballing some ideas. I think she'll look best if we can really make the backgrounds look as creepy as possible. Shouldn't be hard. Um, does anyone else think it's weird? Dumet hasn't showed up yet. Yeah, I don't think he's coming. What do we want to do first, Charles? You're the boss. Thank you. I think it makes sense for us to start in the lobby. There's still decent light to work with, and it's symbolically where things would begin in the murder castle. With what light's already in there, we just need to set up a couple of our own. We can make it look as if it were lit by gaslight. Perfect. What if Dumet shows up? If he tells us to stop, I'm going to be having a strong word with him. He's put us in this position. All right, everyone grab what they need and we'll meet in the lobby. Let's be as professional as possible from here on in, please. No mistakes. Perfection. If he comes back, 
I don't want him to see us fucking about or arguing. Good call. We're on it. Right, guys? That's what she said. Good call, eh? Good call. Good call. Shouldn't take me long at all. Good call. Good call. Good right. call. Right. Stabbed. Someone watching like a videotape or something of like one of the rooms. Well, that film Vacancy with Luke Wilson. Okay, back in cell. Awesome, make sure they fill my pine box with cement, put it deeper than anyone else, and cover the ground with more cement. Cause oh, fuck. Trust. just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. No, is that coming? Don't be 
careful. Sing it, and I won't be scared long. Examine. I get the flashlight on. Oh, we can't open that, we don't have a key. getting creative with Charlie's script. Hello? Mr. Demet? Might be time to join the 21st century, guys. 7 8, 2007 8. Grand opening. I don't know if that's a clue. So I could. Is this staff notice? Hey, it looks 10 years younger. See, it says a Cody, digital lock installation, Ned Yook. Okay, that's 
definitely for a combination lock. I need to remember that. It's not right, I had a bit of difficulties with my footage. So I have to, yeah, cut the video and continue it. Because in this place I live in, it's like there's something, something's not right in with the electrical part of this place. It turned like fucks up my like monitor screen like, it goes black this like my monitor screen turns off sometimes and then comes back on every time like it, something's not right with the wiring Difficulties um, with the recording. I don't know what's going on with it. So back in here, I might have missed something. It's a code that. See this here. room in the creepy hotel on the creepy island to shoot a doc about serial killers all alone and without my stun gun. Choices, Jamie. Make better choices. This is your own damn fault. Actually, it yeah, didn't go all the way down here. Sure, yeah, that I'm recording. Because I don't, yeah, want to 
you have a look to see if the footy didn't fucking up. Breakers. It just takes us back out here. Can't interact with the piano at all. Oh, go back here. Nothing. Why are all these chairs here? Is this okay? Um, o four five one. Remember, there we go. Easy. Thank God, something from this century. Another one of these puzzles. the bottom this time goes up and across then up then up then left 